As many people will tell you, the golf course can be one of the best places for conducting business. It certainly beats the heck out of being in the office. Whether you're golfing with clients, potential clients, or colleagues, allow yourself at least four to five hours for a round so you have time to fully appreciate the unique combination of sportsmanship and camaraderie, not to mention the beautiful surroundings. This said, you should also be aware that the rigors of golfing can also bring out somewhat less redeeming qualities in people. Therefore, in this section, we will discuss some of the do's and don'ts of company, client, and network golfing. Company golf occurs in one of two contexts, the company golf tournament or a general outing with associates, which may include the boss. Beginning with the company golf tournament, you should be aware of the formalities of so-called informal business excursions. As one wise CEO once said, no one ever won a promotion at our gatherings, but many have lost one. On a brighter note, company golf tournaments are a great opportunity to spend some quality time with your associates, superiors, and their guests. The following pointers will help you make a good impression. First of all, remember that your business peers are always judging your character, even on the golf course. The same CEO also observed that although intelligence and performance are key criteria to an individual's corporate future, their ability to work in a team and in an environment which is an extension of the workplace is critical. These people will carry our corporate flag wherever they go, so what better place for them to show off their good qualities than on a golf outing? We think these words speak for themselves. So keep them in mind as we continue to discuss some key points on corporate golf protocol. Because organizing a golf tournament is a grueling and time-consuming task, find out who's responsible for organizing your company's tournament and thank them. Even if the event didn't quite live up to PGA standards, your gratitude will be appreciated. Verify beforehand the post-game dress code as well as other services the club offers. Unless you want to be the only one who forgot his dinner jacket, prepare yourself. Remember that a corporate golf tournament is definitely not the place for cheating, throwing clubs, cursing, telling questionable jokes, getting angry, or talking behind other colleagues' backs. These will inevitably make a bad impression and memories can last forever. Play honestly. Although you may be tempted to give your ball a kick with your foot wedge to get a better lie when it ends up under the tree, don't. It offends all the other players, especially those who abide by the rules and carry higher scores as a result. Although golf tournaments are intended to boost company morale, don't go overboard with cheer while you're on the course or after. If you want to save yourself from being the topic of discussion at the water cooler on Monday morning, we advise you to exercise moderation. Before the day of the tournament, find out with whom you are playing. Because socializing is a big part of golf, inquire into your group members' levels of experience and interests so you have an idea of what to expect and what they might like to talk about. If your boss is in the group, don't begin fishing for a raise. Instead, allow them to enjoy their game. If they want to discuss promotions, they'll mention it. Although most of us enjoy comedians, the company golf tournament is not the place where you should test out new material. One CEO remarked that she remembered playing with an employee who thought he was so funny. Out of respect, she laughed at his first joke. However, when he continued carte blanche to entertain the group for four hours, she was totally unimpressed. Neither she nor the others in the group shared in his person's humor, especially when it deteriorated into vulgarities. After the round, feeling that the employee was incapable of representing the esteemed values of her firm, the said CEO ended her acquaintance with the individual, on the course and at their place of employment. The joke, at last, was on him. Company golf is a great way to learn more about your fellow workers. Ask them about their lives away from the office. For instance, where they went to school, what sports and activities they enjoy, and where they like vacationing. During post-game festivities, spend a few minutes making the rounds. 
asking the other groups how their day went. Although golfers are known to place a friendly golf wager on a match, we recommend that you refrain from initiating a bet when you are golfing with colleagues. If someone else proposes a wager, use your judgment and decide if you're comfortable with the stakes. Don't be a golf coach. Let everyone play their game the way they want to. Even if you are a good player, those who only play twice a year will not necessarily benefit from or appreciate your pointers. Therefore, unless asked, keep your advice to yourself. By all means, compliment a good shot. Flattery won't cost you anything and goes a long way in helping to make people feel more confident and comfortable around you. When playing with colleagues in a more general context and not in a golf tournament, we have several guidelines that will help you mix business with pleasure. Before you begin playing, decide who's paying, for what and how much. You may be expected to contribute to the overall cost, so it's best to know beforehand. If you're playing with a potential client and plan to drive to the club separately, try to arrive before your guest does. If anyone has to wait, it should be you. If you're taking out a potential customer, golf should be your primary concern. Rather than using the course as an opportunity to approach your client aggressively, make them feel comfortable by talking about less serious issues. By researching your client's interests before you play, you can discuss common interests that might put them at ease. Once you've gotten to know each other a bit better, you may want to expand your conversation to include more business-related topics. If they want to talk about corporate ventures over golf, they'll let you know. If not, back off and enjoy the rest of the game. Try not to feel pressure to close a deal with your customer while you're golfing. Remember, there is still plenty of time to discuss business after the game, over drinks and dinner. Because business people tend to frequent golf clubs, Keep a few spare business cards on hand. You never know who you'll bump into. Keep a pen handy in case you need to jot down a few notes. Brilliant business ideas present themselves in many different places, including the golf course. So be prepared. Ask questions and listen attentively. And if you carry a cell phone, use it only when appropriate.